Everybody settled in and ready? We'll start your one minute now. I'm the first one in my family to shoot. I got started with elementary school, and um, as I shot better, I, just, I guess I just wanted some company to shoot in the yard with. No, I, I, I never thought I'd be shooting bow. It's something that never was on our radar. When we first began S3DA, we probably had a little more narrow vision of where we are today. We, we saw S3DA as being the next step program for kids. But what we found with our partnering organizations, ASA, USA Archery, NFAA, by the kids getting involved, we suddenly saw all these parents getting involved in archery for the first time. She got bored shooting in the yard. And so dad and I, we both picked up shooting so we could have our own little tournaments in the yard and kind of push each other. And uh, Kinsley and I, that's some of the best times I've ever had is just going shooting little tournaments with Kinsley and competing. And um, I started coaching, but once I started shooting, the tables turned and she was my coach. So, because um, she had gone way beyond what her dad and I could ever dream already and she started coaching us, so. I never did imagine it would turn into this because in the first meet I went to, the first national I went to, there was only 170 kids. Now we're into the thousands. I would have never imagined it would, it would excel this fast. Scholastic 3D archery creates a bridge into our sport that also includes conservation. And it doesn't matter if you've never shot a bow before or if you are an experienced archer or if you're already hunting, you're going to find a path that's going to enable you to have a lifetime in the sport. Well, one of the more really exciting things that Esther Day has offered me is um, the field, and that's actually what I'm going to be shooting in college as well. The S3DA started out as 3D archery, and we've now ventured into target archery as well. There's tons of regionals, um, state and national competitions. They're just, I feel like I'm shooting all the time, which for me is a really good thing. Um, and it's actually opened me up to hunting. I never would have even considered going out if it wasn't for SRDA. We have a lot of uh, younger shooters in the store. And what that translates into, those guys start out, guys and girls, start out in elementary school, through middle school, all the way through high school, and they become lifelong shooters. Our bow shop, they've seen her grow from fourth grade, from her first Genesis bow, to what she's doing now in high school. So they're invaluable to our family. And we bought all of our equipment from them, all of our arrows. They're, they just have been, <laughs> they've been amazing for my kid. I've seen a, a lot, increase in sales, probably close to 25 to 30 percent by S3DA because we're looking at target, not always selling hunting equipment or hunting bows. We're looking at archery lenses, scopes, releases, things that normally wouldn't be taken to the field, but you need them here to compete as well. This past year, we held the largest outdoor collegiate nationals in Dublin, Ohio, with over 80 schools and 550 plus shooters. So I think it is a carry-on effect from everything from, from where Scholastic has come from, how colleges are picking up. I get calls, probably emails every two or three weeks about colleges and universities interested in the starting and picking up collegiate archery. We have students that had never considered going to college. Now they have a love for archery and they have the connection that they can carry on. And it kind of opened my eyes to how easy it is to go to college. I mean, because even if you don't get offers or Maybe you don't have somebody looking at you, you can get in touch with them to see if you could work something out or maybe make a team. As far as your question, you know, how has S3DA done for me as far as looking at colleges? It took it from zero to a hundred. Because before I never even knew how to go about going to a college or thinking about one or how to get in touch with anybody. And then when you get into S3DA, that's what you're shooting for. I mean, you're shooting for scholarship money and you're shooting for the ability to go to college. Our program is relatively simple. We want this to be a bridge. We don't want these seven and eight year olds thinking that they are professional archers. They are here to literally have fun and be engaged and involved in the sport. And it's not about them practicing seven or eight hours a day. I mean, if we, if we have them practicing and it's all about making their life all about archery, then when they are 10 or 11, then they're not going to be doing this anymore. They're going to find something else that's fun. And we want the sport to be fun for them. And we want them to have a life. And we want their life to be, to include archery when they're 16, 17, and when they're 27 and 47. I, as a parent, am very grateful that my daughter got into scholastic. 
for every opportunity that they gave her, the competition, um, the wonderful coaches that she's had that become part of the family, um, her bow shop that has become her family, that she, that's somewhere she knows that she can go, it's nice and safe and they can help her. Um, and an organization that's gonna keep giving her opportunities to keep going further.